Hello everyone. In this tutorial video, I am going to show Wario Stadium and the shortcut and how you would go about hitting the shortcut on Wario Stadium. So let's go ahead and just get started. Um, the idea is, as you kind of go over, there are four humps here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. And the key here for the first jump is you gotta really be aiming towards one of the humps like this, okay? So, um, say you wanna try to line it up, you go use the B button to kind of line it up. You would triple tap A to get up to speed, and then you would try to jump. And you may see that you can't just jump at it necessarily. You have to make sure you have kind of a good angle at it. So you kind of want to take a little um, little corner like this. And then what I did there was I used the control stick. I pressed R, the R button just before it, and I had pointed my control stick to the left. So it wasn't a straight shot over. Um, it allowed me to actually jump over. So there is another jump which will allow me to try out the other one again. But you will notice that I've now jumped um, halfway across the, the, the course. So you kind of follow that mini map on the right. I would have had to go left, 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 right, left, right, and basically a bunch of turns. And I'm basically halfway down the track. So using the right control stick to the right, which is the C, um, right button on the N64, you can see that I've gone kind of halfway. Oops. Um, so basically, for the second jump, what you want to do is basically line it up kind of like this. The idea is you want to jump just on the other side of the finish line. You have to land to the right of it. So again, you want to go kind of at max speed. You can do that by just triple tapping A so you get the full speed. And then you do a jump like that. So what I did was um, I j hopped just before that sequence um, and then I used the control stick and I basically pointed it up. But generally on this kind of this first jump you really want to be pointing down to make that jump. So again, max speed, control stick left, you go over. And then going back through, it's kind of the same idea. This one's a little harder to hit directly because if you're off by even a little bit, that happens. Um, sometimes you just have to hit a frame perfect to make that happen. But again, the same idea is you want to line it up. You want to line it up relatively like this. So you're hitting it basically where the kind of where the white is. The red arrow meets the white arrow, and then you would basically have to aim that exactly. Not that I'm hitting it exactly right now. The second one's much harder. If you're just trying to hit the shortcut for the first time, you really just want to try the first one, like I meant, like I showed earlier. But this is how you would do it. If you miss on the first one, you can always jump like this on the second. Zero frame does make the second jump a little harder. But if you try enough times, and you, if you aim it a little too far to the right, like I did there, you end up getting reset. Which is why you want to have an angle that is kind of more straight. So you don't want an angle that is like all the way out left here. And then you're most likely end up on the right side of it. And over that little area that I landed with the ghost. Uh, and this might be a little too far to the right, and you're not going to get a good angle. So, looking at it, you probably want to be a little close to this diagonal, but not quite that far. You want to be a little bit to the right. Again, triple tap A, or you can even use a mushroom to get enough speed, and then here you are. That's the Warrior Stadium shortcut, in a nutshell. 